What is in the box? I don't know. Let me show you what is in the box. What's up guys? Um, I'm going to show you guys a real uh, easy, simple alternative to buying new lights for your Banshee. Um, the factory headlights are pretty expensive. Um, I think it's around like 200 bucks if you get the, uh, the like entire assembly with the grade on the front and all. Um, so you've probably seen other guys running these. Um, they're LEDs. If you go on uh, eBay and you type in 27 watt work light, about a million of these will pop up. And you can usually get them for about 15 bucks shipped to your house. Um, I paid 11 bucks for mine, um, only because I got a super deal on them, but even at 15 bucks, that's nothing. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to make it so that this is how they come in the package. Actually, this one here, you just have the two uh, blank wires right there. So what we're going to do, we'll say these are about 15 bucks, and then you can get these connectors. I got a set of six of them. and. Um, I think these, it was about six bucks shipped. You can get them cheaper too if you get them outside, of, if you get them shipped from China. Um, but then you gotta wait like a month for them to get here. It was like, uh, if you get them from China, it was like $2.50 for the same exact thing here at six bucks, but I got them in like two days. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put these uh, clips on the end of our wires. And um, then I'm just gonna adjust the other end of the clip, um, attach that to the, the wiring harness on the Banshee so that we'll be able to clip the wires like it's from the factory. Pretty easy. Um, I haven't seen these lights in action before, but one of my buddies said he put them on his go-kart and they were like turning on the sunlight. So he said they were super good. Um, the only thing we have to do, they almost fit perfectly in um, the brackets on our frame. Um, now mine, it looks like the previous owner chopped down the, uh, the mounts where the lights go. It doesn't mean that, you, that it won't fit uh, if they're not chopped down. Mine probably just needs a little less modification. But I'm just gonna show you, you need to, uh, shave down the sides here just a little bit. I'll show you how to do it. Super easy to do and they pretty much just bolt right into place. So what I'm gonna do here is just measure our gap. Looks like it is one and five eighths inches almost exactly. So I'm gonna make our light just shy of one and five eighths inches. So on our light here, if we measure these little these little uh, marks in here, I don't know if you can see them, literally right the distance between here and here is exactly where we need it. So I don't even need to mark these. I'm gonna I'm gonna shave it down right to those marks. Um, if you have like a different variant of the light, excuse me. Um, you may have to mark it off with like a pen or a paint pen or something. Um, but definitely you, you mark it off. Otherwise, you know, you'd kind of be doing guessing. So I'm just going to take a, uh, a flapper sander. Uh, it's like kind of like a grinder. Set it up in our vise. And um, this should shave down very easily. And uh, I'll be a little bit on the conservative side of the, fir side the first time. So uh, that way it's better to take off not enough than too much. Because uh, you can always take more. Uh. Don't go crazy tightening this. You just need it to be, you just need it to hold in there. You don't want to bend your light. That's all you need. Now on mine, I'm only going to grind up to about here. I mean, that's pretty much as high as you can go anyway, but I measured um, on our brackets how far down we need to go, and that's about as far as we need to go.
Alright guys, so I have these all shaved down. I wound up going a little bit higher up here, just so that we can have a little bit um, more uh, mobility. We can actually angle them, because they were resting right up against the, uh, the flat part on the frame. You couldn't really turn them, they were just like fixed straight ahead. Um, so those came out nice. Now I'm just going to put our wire clips on, and uh, we can clip them in, hold them down, we're good to go. So here's what you're going to get in these little wire packets. The terminal kits. You have your two clips, your pins, and these little rubber grommets that uh, keep water out, make these waterproof. Um, so we take our wires and we're going to uh, pinch these uh, pins on the terminals and uh, we'll go from there. We're going to clip our sheath back just a little bit so we have a little bit more room to work with. Um, the sheath is on there pretty good. It's not just a covering. It's actually molded around the wire, so you have to be careful. But with a pair of dikes, you should be able to uh, cut it back pretty easy. Just take your time with it. Then we'll uh, remove some of the sheath on these wires and put our pins on. Here on our wire harness, um, you have three wires, whereas you only have two on the other lights. Now what that is, is um, one of these is a ground, and then you have your high beams and your low beams. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the, the, the yellow is your high beam, the green is your low beam, this black is your ground. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the green and the yellow together on this one. That way, whether you have high beams or low beams on, this light's always going to be on. And then on the other light, I'm only going to do one of them. I'll only do the high beam. So this way, this one will be like the low beam. It'll always be on. And then the right one, it'll be so you can have one or two lights on. Um, probably always have both of them on, but that way, you know, it at least has some functionality. these pins upright. So we have our red on this side, put that into the green and yellow, and uh, our black will go on the ground side. I love Preza. So this side is going to be the same thing. The only difference is um, you'll notice your green and your yellow wires are doubled up. Uh, it's because of the way the wiring harness is, um, the wires are like doubled back through the, the harness so that both lights can get power. But it's really not um, any different than the other side. The only thing is, instead of <clears throat> twisting all four of these together so that the lights would always stay on, I mean, you can do that if you want. Um, but like I said, I'm going to make it so that you can have one light on or two lights. So I want the yellow one to be powered because that's our high beam. So when you're on low beam, the left light will be on. And when you're on high beam, the left and the right light will be on. So this one, I'm still going to um, put a terminal on it and push it in the, uh, the clip 
just because it'll it'll look nicer. We won't just have like a random wire sitting there. And uh, this one will be connected to our power. So now that our clips are done, we're pretty much ready to install these. I'm just going to take the hardware that the kit came with. And I want to trim it down because I don't like it when bolts are hanging over too much. <laughs> That's it guys, they're all done. That's all that's to it really. Uh, pretty easy to do. Tomorrow night I'll fire up the quad and um, show you what they look like when they're running. Uh, it's too late right now, it's like 1.45 in the morning. Uh, so I'll get that for you tomorrow. And uh, that's it guys, 20 bucks. LED headlights and uh, one other thing. Um, I ordered grates for these, like the crisscross protectors. Um, they were $1.26 each. But those are actually coming from China. Um, so those uh, probably won't be here for like a week or so at least. Uh, but when I get those, I'll put them on there. And that'll just make it look even more like OEM. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, a lot more videos to come. Uh, I actually rode this thing today. And um, it's a straight beast. I only got it to like maybe like a third throttle. And uh, the front wheels are coming off the ground in third gear. So uh, it's got some serious power.